Hey guys and welcome to our WX Python layout series here on the Coders Legacy channel. In this video we're going to take a look at the Flex Grid Sizer. Okay, it's one of the five sizers in WX Python that are used for layout management. Okay, so the Flex Grid Sizer is pretty interesting and personally one of my favorites. Okay, it's actually a child class. Okay, from which inherits from the Grid Sizer, which is another sizer. Okay, we covered the grid sizer in the last video. I'll leave a link in the des description below or there. Okay, you can go check it out. There's a lot in common between the grid sizer and the flex grid sizer. Okay, so like I think 90% of the functionality is really the same. Okay, there's only one difference between the grid sizer and the flex grid sizer. Okay, now if you don't know this already, the grid sizer basically works by uh, splitting a window okay into rows and columns okay then you place widgets into those cells that are created between the intersection intersections of the rows and columns right so that's how the grid sizer works okay and that's also how the flex grid sizer works okay but there's just one difference there's some extra functionality okay and that is actually flexibility and which is why it's called a flex grid sizer at least I think so so the thing is that the flex grid sizer allows for these rows and columns to have different sizes. Okay, the grid sizer is absolute; it's fixed. Okay, it's like no, you can't change the size of the rows and columns. They're going to be a fixed size. All rows will have the same size, and all columns will have the same size. Okay, so it's kind of fixed. But the flex grid sizer is more flexible. Okay, it allows you to change things. Okay, now I think that's enough talking for now, honestly. And I'm just going to go ahead and begin. Okay, so sizer is equal to wx.flexgridsizer. Now, the constructor for the flex, flex grid sizer is actually the exact same as the grid sizer. Okay, there's the rows parameter. Okay, then there's calls, then there's v gap for vertical gap between the rows and columns, and h gap for horizontal gap between the rows and columns. Okay, so I'll just assign some values over here three. Okay. And two over there because I, I, I already have the GUI that I want to make in mind. Okay, so V gap is equal to five. Okay, and then H gap is equal to five. These values usually work out pretty well for me. Okay, so sizer, I'll just go here self dot panel dot set sizer and put the sizer in here. Okay, now I'll begin adding in some widgets. Okay. And this is the add many function. Okay, you can use this or you can individually add them however you want. Okay, so I'm just gonna add them in all like this. Okay, this is basically a list of widgets that we're gonna add. Okay, you can also add them individually using the add function. Okay, I've discussed this many times in my previous videos. Okay, so over here I'm gonna go ahead and create a button. Sorry, a static text widget. Okay and stuff that panel okay i'm just going to create some widgets here because what's more important is the end result that i want to show you guys okay it's not really important right now what widgets go into here not not really so label is equal to username okay i'm trying to make some kind of form basically a form with some data okay and zero and okay oh by the way one more thing Something that I want to mention is that uh, the order in which you actually place these widgets is really important. Okay, I'll show you this in a minute. Let me just complete this password address. Okay, now I'm going to run this code, and there you go. Watch this. It looks really weird right now, actually, because it's still incomplete. But basically, what I want to show you here is that there are three rows and two columns, right? And I just created three widgets. So this is the first widget that's in the first row and the first column. And this is the second widget that's in the first row, second column. Okay. And then when the third widget comes along, it goes into the second row. Okay. And the first column. So what I want you to do, what I want you to keep in mind here basically is that in the flex grid sizer, we don't, sorry, <clears throat> we don't specify what position we're putting them in. Okay, it happens sequentially. You put one widget in, it goes into the first position. You put another, another widget in, it goes into the next position. Okay, and yeah. So over here, I'm just going to create some text control widgets now to basically complete our GUI. I'm going to put them in between these. Okay, and what am I doing here? 
I should have created them like this. Yeah, control, okay. And they don't have labels, okay. And this one here too. And just remove that over there. Just one more of these and we should be done. Okay, good. Now let's run this and see what we get. All right, invalid syntax, of course. Okay. All right, that looks pretty good. Well, it's the base layout of what I'm trying to make, okay? Now, obviously, we need to add in a bunch of options here, and by the end of this, I assure you, this is going to look pretty cool, okay? We're now going to work with this, add in the sizer options, add in those parameters, use those options to make this look like a proper GUI form, okay? So that's what we're, what we're going to try to do here. Now, the first thing that I want to point out here is that there's no padding in between the username, you know, these widgets and the window. This looks, this looks bad, doesn't it? Like, it's just hugging, these texts are just hugging the window, okay? And this doesn't matter, you know, if I change the window size, okay? It just looks bad. So I'm going to use a little technique to fix this that I've been using in my last few videos as well. I'm going to create a box sizer, okay? Make it vertical. Come on. All right, vertical. And then I'm going to go here. Do this, okay? Basically, what I'm just doing here is creating a box sizer, then adding in our sizer within this box sizer, okay? And if you didn't already know this, we can nest sizers, okay? It's pretty cool. It adds in a lot of functionality and stuff, okay? So, yeah. All right. Now, obviously, nothing happened yet. That's because I haven't added in any uh, parameters, any options. I'm going to do flag is equal to, is equal to wx.all and border is equal to 5, okay? And I'll add in one more flag, wx.expand. wx.expand will allow this sizer, okay, our, our flex grid sizer to expand, okay, otherwise it won't be able to grow larger, which is something I wanted to do. wx.all makes sure that the border applies on all four sides, the bottom, the left, the right, and the top, okay? So the reason why I have basically added in the sizer, created this entire wrapper, the reason why I did this entire thing was so that I could apply these options on it. Otherwise, you know this V gap and H gap, these only apply within the sizer, okay? They don't apply outside of the sizer, okay? So this vertical gap of 5 and horizontal gap of 5 would only exist between the rows and columns, not between... Uh, not between the rows and columns and the you know the window the frame okay so this is kind of important i hope you understood that so yeah we can see here that there's now some spacing okay and if you still don't think that's enough we can increase this to 10 and this looks better okay now on to phase two okay phase two where i begin creating some more stuff the first thing i need to do is actually make this a multi-line widget okay i want the address to be a bit large okay so I'm going to go down here, and in the flag, wait, no, sorry, what am I doing? I need to go in here, actually, into the text control widget, and in the flag, I need to pass in, I hope I remember this correctly, it's going to be something like, um, was it multi-line, right? But I'm pretty sure there was something else before it. So, and honestly, I really don't remember this. Okay, and wait, it doesn't have flag, sorry, it has style, I, I'm getting a little confused. And let me just go and check up the style, because I'm pretty sure that's not it. Mm, I doubt it. Hold on, just give me a minute. Okay, so it turns out it's TE multi-line, I'm not sure why it's TE, but yeah. And there we go. It's now a multi-line widget, okay, so we're one step closer to making what we want, okay? And just one more thing that I need to pass over here. I don't like that scroll bar, so I want to make that go away. TE underscore no V scroll. V scroll, like this, okay? And what happens is that the uh, vertical bar disappears, okay? Now on to what we're actually trying to achieve here, okay? Just watch. I'm going to pass in zero in the proportion, pass in WX dot expand over here, okay? And just to be sure I'm not screwing anything up, okay, yeah, looks good, good, okay, let me pass this in over here as well, and there really isn't any more space in here, seriously, okay, I need to reduce the size a bit over here, okay, come a little closer, 
Okay, and let's run this. I'll explain why this did in a minute. Okay, that didn't go so well. Why not? Hmm. I'm passing in expand wx dot expand over there. It's not expanding. Why not? There's still one major thing we're missing over here, and yeah, for that I'm gonna have to discuss that. Okay, this is a sort of a new topic. Because the thing is over here that the flex grid sizer, everything we've done up till now is pretty much the same as the grid sizer, okay? But these functions I'm going to discuss now are unique to the flex grid sizer, okay? And you won't find them in the grid sizer, okay? And this is add growable row, okay? And there's add growable column, okay? And these take two parameters, okay? The first parameter is going to be the row or column that you want to be growable, okay? And growable, what it means is that it can change its size, okay? That, that, that it can, you know, grow past its normal size. Basically, that's what it means, okay? So when you resize the window, you'll notice this effect, okay? This is something really important. Okay, now which row do I want to be able to grow? Let's just take a look at this. Let me just copy this right now. Let's run our code and see, okay? What I want is that this column of ours the column with all the text widgets, I want this to be able to grow, okay? Furthermore, I want this last row to be able to grow as well, okay? Now, let's just slowly go ahead and add these in and notice their effects, okay? Let's first make the column, okay? Now, by the way, this zero refers to the first column, one refers to the second column, okay? This is how indexing works. And the second parameter is the, the proportion, okay? Proportion, the zero means that it's going to be not changing and a value higher than zero, like one or above, means that it will change, okay? Uh, I'll discuss this later on a bit if I get the chance, okay? But basically, let's just see what happens. Okay, there you go. What just happened here is that basically uh, the entire column just grew, okay? And if I resize the window, guess what? It grows along with the window. That's pretty good, okay? And beyond this, let me just see. I think there's another alternate way we can handle things. Proportion is equal to 1 over here, if I do that. Because this sizer is proportioned by 0 currently. So if I do this, yep, it doesn't have any effect. I guess I need to do both things at once. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm not really making much sense right now. But basically, what I need to do actually is use proportion is equal to 1 over here on the sizer, okay, on the flex grid sizer that we made, otherwise it won't be able to change size, okay, and we kind of need it to change its size, otherwise we won't be able to make the third row growable, okay. This is a bit hard to explain, there are a lot of settings you need to enable for something to be able to work, that something else needs to be able to work, for some settings to work, some other settings need to be activated, it's a whole kind of mess almost, but if you learn this properly, you'll understand what's going on, okay? So add growable row. I want third row to be growable, so I'm going to make this 2, okay? The second index. And I'll pass in 1 over here. Watch what happens. There we go. And this is pretty cool, okay? You got to admit. I can just resize this. And the row, the row is now growing, okay? You can see the row is now growing, okay? Uh, this row is now stretching from here, from, from where my cursor is, all the way down to here. Okay, and we can clearly see that the flex grid sizer really is unique because this row is like massive and this these rows are like tiny. Okay, this column is tiny and this column is huge. Okay, so this is what the flex grid sizer is really all about. Okay, now let me just, there's something else here which hopefully, maybe, maybe I'll be able to cover <sighs> proportion. Proportion is tricky. Okay. I'm not sure if I can really explain this because proportion also, uh, to actually explain this, I need to have uh, the proper widgets also set up over here because we, we can't always, well, notice it, sort of. Uh, it's a bit hard to actually, you know, show the effects of proportion is what I mean, okay? So let me try explaining it using the username and password, uh, the username and password rows, okay? So I'm going to go here and add growable row, okay, zero, 
which is the first row, one, which is the second row. I'm going to make this one have a proportion of one, and I'll give this one a proportion of two. And this may be something confusing. You're like, hey, why are you giving it a proportion of two? What's that going to do? Well, let's go ahead and check it out. Well, there you go. Actually, your answer is right there. You can see that the proportions are basically like this. Username has a proportion of 1, okay? Address has a proportion of 1, and password has a proportion of 2. So can you already guess what's going on? Well, let me tell you. Username uh, has basically one-fourth of the screen size. Address has one-fourth, and password has, one, has half. Okay, did you understand? Well, if you still didn't, let me try it again. Basically, what's going on here, proportion is basically ratios, okay? It's basically a game of ratios, okay? So when I gave username currently, this row has a proportion of one, this has a proportion of one, this has a proportion of two. So what it does is that it divides the row, sorry, it divides this entire height, okay? this entire region into four parts, okay? It gives one part to username, it gives two parts to password, it gives one part to the address. And if I resize it, it also adjusts accordingly. If I resize this by, let's say, I increase the height of this window by 100 pixels, it'll give 25 pixels to username, it'll give 25 pixels to address, it'll give 50 of them to password, okay? So proportion is basically controls the proportion or the ratio in which space is allocated initially to the rows and columns and how space is allocated to them as they grow. That's basically what proportion is. I hope you understood that because if you didn't, if you still didn't, then take this code, try running it, change the proportions, keep messing around with it, with it until you understand. Okay, so yeah. We're pretty much done here, okay? This video was mainly about the flex grid sizer. We also threw in uh, proportion and how to actually use it. Because it's a bit hard to explain proportion. And the flex grid sizer was a good place for me to actually try explaining it, okay? In the next video, we'll take a look at the grid, uh, was it? The grid bag sizer, which is the last sizer. It's also pretty cool. It has some interesting functionality, okay? It's kind of interesting because those who really like absolute positioning, and can't bear to part with it, they, they might actually appreciate the grid bag sizer because it's basically a cross between absolute positioning. It has the ease of use that uh, absolute positioning has and it has the abilities of a sizer. So it's a pretty cool widget, okay? But yeah, this was a really long video and we're done here. I hope you guys subscribe to the channel, leave some likes, leave some comments, okay? And let me know what you guys think, okay? And yeah, that's it for now. I hope to see you guys in a later video.